Welcome to Built Fixed and happy Sunday. On this episode of Built Fixed, let's go over my new accessory here for the Hammer K3, and that's Felder Part 503-101. And what that is, is their tilt angle indicator. Um, so over maybe the next two, three minutes, I will show quickly how to assemble this product. And an issue that I ran into with this uh, setup was that the set screw that fits into this uh, system uh, hand wheel uh, was not accessible due to the sheet metal cover here. So I will show how to uh, get this cover out of the way um, while keeping it attached on the machine and be able to still get an Allen wrench inside and tighten up that set screw. That gives you the maximum amount of low profile possible for this setup. So stay tuned, it's uh, great to have you back. All right, let's get started. So the tools you need to have are a 10 millimeter wrench, a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, and a three millimeter Allen wrench. Using the 10 millimeter uh, wrench, you can then remove or loosen your bolts up on top. Uh, you can see here, uh, I wasn't careful enough and my washer slipped down in behind, so I had to remove this guard all the way but it doesn't really matter. So start with your system hand wheel here, uh, maybe collapse the handle out of the way. Reinstall your sheet metal here and just take care of those metal ears so they fit down into all three slots. Now the bottom is locked in. Take your system hand wheel Align this slot with the pin and press it in all the way. Now with your three millimeter Allen wrench, you want to tighten that set screw on the shaft. And this is where you encounter a problem with a standard Allen wrench that it cannot get in there. Now perhaps uh, an Allen wrench with a rounded end uh, could get in there, but with a standard Allen wrench, you will, uh, you'll, you'll strip the end off. So take your sheet metal now that's been loosened up with the bolts either installed or in this case, uninstalled and push it up all the way. With it up all the way, you now have enough clearance to get in there on that shaft and tighten up the set screw. Now with the set screw tightened up on your system hand wheel shaft, simply push back down the sheet metal and make sure it's sitting down flat on the machine case the whole way across. Remember to add your washer back to the bolt if you removed your bolts, if you did not remove the bolts, of course you were then very careful not to tip back like so, because if you tip back, then you will lose your washer and have to remove the bolt anyhow. So reinsert all three bolts. At this stage, I'd recommend you set now your saw to zero degrees. With your saw at zero degrees, take your clock here now and rotate it until you get the clock to zero as well. There's zero. Now with your Allen wrench, which is 2.5 millimeters, come in here and very carefully tighten the set screw down. And what I like to do is just move this uh, indicator back and forth until I feel the set screw just begins to bite. And then I'll back it off again and now I'll just carefully rotate it back here to find the middle of the line right there. Come back now and turn my set screw again and now this is locked in place. All right, great. I'm done. I hope you're done also. The, the wheel's been attached. The clock has been calibrated. To make a cut now, an angle cut, simply open up the handle and now have the convenience of getting an indicated uh, angle uh, right here at your fingertips rather than have to careen your head down there and take a peek at a sticker. I hope I find that this uh, 
accessory is as precise as my Hammer A3 uh, digital height clock is. That's been fantastic. So um, I look forward to giving you an update on this. And I'd love to hear your comments about how this accessory is working out for you on your machine. I can see I still have a few hours left of the weekend, time enough for maybe one more project. So get on out there, have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.